Hello everyone in YouTube land, we love her, I'm seven back here as always. Alright, this is going to be a really short video, I don't know how long it's going to be, but yeah, we're in 2018, and this is a very good topic, very good question I want to ask to you people, and that is, do you think this year is the last year of the 3DS? And do you think, oh, two questions actually, whoa, yeah, do you think this year is the last year of the 3DS, and do you think... Nintendo will come out with another dedicated handheld along with the Switch. Um, I'll go with the first one first here. These are both very good questions, <laughs> I, th I think, anyways. Like, the first one's pretty obvious. Yes, 2018 is the last year of the 3DS. Um, 2017 was a very good year for the 3DS. A lot of good games coming out. A lot of surprises that we didn't know about, like Metroid Samus Returns and Mario Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. And a few other ones. I think one of the Fire Emblem, Shadows of Lentia. Did that come out last year? Yeah, I think it did. And a few other games. Um, there's some other games coming out this year, like Kirby Battle Royale and some other niche, niche, or whatever. I don't know how you say that word. Niche RPGs. I think it's from Atlas. I don't know. Is there some from Atlas or... I'm trying to remember. Just some ve is it Shinji Megami? T I don't know what's coming out. I gotta go look it up. <laughs> Usually I look it up on GameStop site and what 3DS's games are coming out recently. Um, yeah, I know it's Kirby uh, Battle Royale and some few very obscure RPGs or whatever. I don't know what they are, but yeah, there is. It's pretty much it's it's pretty much ending. You know, like the 3DS is closing closing up shop. Um, it's been a good what seven years or something like that. I don't know. Do your math. 2011, whatever. Uh, we're in 2018 now. <laughs> I don't know. Time goes by so fast. Can't keep track of time anymore. But, yeah, it's been a good six, seven, eight years, whatever the 3DS, I don't know how long it's been out. But, you know, a lot of awesome stuff there, you know. It's a lot of awesome games. My favorite, probably my some of my favorite 3DS games are Super Mario 3D Land. If I had to pick two, three, whatever, I don't know. I'm trying to look at my 3DS games. There's a few more I gotta get. But, um, and I gotta play. Play Super Mario 3 Land and uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf are probably my favorites, honestly. Like, I, one uses the 3D very well, obviously has great game, game, great gameplay and great level design and all that stuff. And the other just is Animal Crossing, you know? Like, it's just, I put so many hours into it. Almost 150, 200, whatever, I know. A lot of people put more hours than that in, in Animal Crossing, but I put so many hours into it where I'm just like, yeah, I gotta stop now. Gotta take a break. You get kind of burnt out. But, yeah, those are probably my two favorite 3DS games as, as of right now. There's a few more, like I said, i got to pick up. But, yeah. Um, but overall, though, when I compare... I don't want to compare, or this is not what this video is about. But, since we're you know on the subject, I think the DS, the original DS, you know, the DS Fat, DS Lite, DSi, like that DS family, I think the DS has, better, has a better library of games than the 3DS. I'm not trying to divide people here or whatever, but it's just like, that's just my opinion. Just as the way the game, you know, the games hold up and all that stuff and the way they look and play and all that, I think, I think DS has a better library than 3DS, honestly. Just, there is better entries in those series. Even though I didn't really like the Zelda games on the DS that much, but I don't know, whatever. Just, I don't know. Um, but no, there, there is just better games on the DS, I think. Just a better library. I don't know what it was. I don't, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's nostalgia for the DS or something? I don't know, it's weird. And that makes me feel old too. But, no, and don't get me wrong, the 3DS has a lot of great games in there. There's a lot of great stuff in there, you know. Um, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, it's just, it's a, great, it's a great system, it really is. And, you know, the 3D effects and all that stuff, that really blew people away when it first came out and whatever. I'm talking about it like it just ended, like the 3DS just... You know, just got discontinued, but I, I just have a really weird feeling that, you know, like, this is the last year of the 3DS. I'm, I'm sure there's more surprises coming out this year. I don't know. I mean, that tends to happen. But I don't know how you can top Metroid Summons Returns and, you know, whatever. That was one of the biggest surprises. Still gotta beat that game, by the way. But, yeah, like, it's just, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think there's more 3DS games coming out this year? Bigger ones, not just obscure little RPGs that don't appeal to a lot of people? Or do you think there's bigger, big heavy hitters? Do you think there's like one last 3DS, 3DS Zelda game coming out? I don't know. I don't know how you can do that after Breath of the Wild. I just I don't know how that can happen. They, they, they did enough Zelda games on the 3DS and remakes and spin-offs and whatever. So 
I, I think Zelda's done on the 3DS, just like Pokemon is, and even Kirby. Kirby's done. Like when, Once Pokemon and Kirby's done on a handheld, usually Kirby's like one of the last first-party Nintendo games on a lot of Nintendo systems. <laughs> it was like that on the Super Nintendo with like Dream, Kirby's Dream Land 3 or whatever. Um, I don't know if a lot of people remember that, but yeah, and like Kirby's like a huge star on a handheld, you know what I mean? Ever since the beginning, since the original Dream Land. But yeah, Battle Royale is the last Kirby game. Even though it's not a traditional platforming Kirby game, this is the last Kirby game on 3DS. Just like all Pokemon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were the last Pokemon games on the 3DS, and then same with Zelda. Like Zelda, there's, there's, there's no more. Like this is the last year. <laughs> um, and to me, like the whole ecosystem with Nintendo, like the whole, it's definitely Switch and your phone. Like it's definitely your Switch and mobile. Like that's really what it is. You're playing Animal Crossing, Fire Emblem, Super Mario Run, Mitomo. Whatever the hell is Pokemon Go, I mean, the one that has nothing really to do with Nintendo, they don't run that, but, yeah, like, it's definitely, like, your Switch and mobile. Like, I don't see them coming out, and this, like I said, another question here, do you think they'll come out with, uh, another dedicated handheld? Um, how, I don't know how they can do it, like, I mean, and I, and I mean in the near future, maybe 2020 or 2021, I don't know, I just can't see them doing that at all, like, ever, like, period, like, dedicated handhelds like that are dead. Like, they, they can't support both systems anymore. You just can't do that. Times are changing. And that's why the Switch is so awesome, because it works as a handheld and home console, and I just cannot see them coming out with a dedicated handheld. I, I can't. I don't want them to. What's the point of it? What's the point of coming out with an... If they do, it's going to be lower, you know, underpowered compared to the Switch. What's the, you can't do that. You can't juggle that. It's insane, you know? Um, and, their teams, and their teams cannot do that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just impossible. So, it's just one of those things, like, no, it's definitely Switch in your fucking phone. And I don't give a shit about phone games, so, but that's that's just the way, that's, that's how it is. So, what do you guys think? Do you think this is the last year, do you think 2018 is the last year for the 3DS? Do you think there's more big games coming out for the 3DS? Do you think they're done? And also, do you think they'll come up with another dedicated handheld in the near future? So comment down below with those questions, with those answers, and yeah, peace out. More random videos coming soon. Later.